Previously, when learning about built-in natives, I explained how the string primitive is mapped to the string built-in native object, and by boxing the string primitive into its equivalent string native object, built-in string native object, JavaScript therefore will supply us with a rich set of functions. Now in this lesson, I wanna demonstrate just a handful of these very useful string methods that are supplied to us by the string built-in native object and explain why they're useful. And I'm just gonna pick the ones that I think are useful, to, at least they've been useful to me in the past, but there's a bunch more. And I would just recommend that you use Bing or your favorite search engine to search for JavaScript methods of string. And uh, you might find the Mozilla developer site and uh, it will give you a full listing of all the methods that you can get on that string object. All right, so first of all, we're gonna need a few strings to work with just for fun. And so I'm gonna create some, some different ones here. Two are quotes. So the first quote is knowledge is power, but enthusiasm pulls the switch. And second is a famous quote from a good friend of ours, do or do not, there is no try. And then finally, a, a listing of random numbers that mean absolutely nothing. And then, you know, one of the things that I didn't really mention at the time is that, um, do you realize that, uh, and I'll just put this here, you can even call these, these methods on string literals. Like, for example, console.log, Bob loves you, dot, isn't that crazy that you can just do dot on a string literal and call to uppercase? Well, you certainly can. So let's see this message in all of its glory because I do in fact, whoa, let's call strings. I do in fact love you. All right, let's move on. All right, so let's um, let's use a couple of uh, interesting interesting methods of string. So we're gonna use the split method. I'm just gonna call set my split equal to the third, this third one defined on line three with those variable, uh, with those values, those numbers that are separated by commas. And the split method will allow you to say, hey, every time you see a comma, split that up and take the element in between the commas and add that to an element of a new array. And so let's go console.log my split. And here we have an array with each value as a separate member of or separate element of that array. Pretty cool. So you'll do this a lot whenever you're working with data and it comes to you in some sort of string like format, you can split it out. All right, next up, uh, we can slice a string. So let's go let my slice equal first dot slice. And then we give it the starting index and the ending index just to kind of pull out one little piece of the string and put it into its own variable. So then we can do a console.log my slice. So this first sentence we would count, you know, to the position 13 and then to position 18. And hopefully we'll grab out that word. And we do, we grab out power. Same basic idea with the next one, which is substring. It's just a tiny bit different. So uh, let uh, my substr equals first dot substring. And here we'll start with that same index, but we'll say just instead of giving you the end position, just go over five, five positions. So this is the start, and then this is the length that we want to pull from that, from that first string. And so then we'll go console.log my substr. And we get the same value there. Okay. Similar ideas between slice and substring. Moving on, uh, we want to return true or false if our string ends with a given string to compare it with. So my ends with equals, and we'll use that second string that I created here, try or, or do or do not, there is no try. And we'll say, hey, does that string ends with true or false, the word try period. And then we'll go console.log 
my ends width true, right? And um, hey, well, then we can do sort of the same thing. Let my starts with equal second dot starts with. And so this is just a way for me to say, hey, is this the string I was expecting? Does it have the values in it that I want? So I can say, does it end with this? Does it begin with this? True or false? All right, so that's true as well. And then we can even say, hey, you know, someplace in the string, does it include the substring or the string there? So is the word there used in that second string? Console.log, whoops. My include. Whoops, there is no there, all right? How about capital T in there? Ah, that's true, all right? So it is case sensitive. All right, so let's come in all these out. This is interesting. Now, let's uh, say let my repeat equals ha exclamation mark space dot repeat and the number of times I want that repeated is three and then let's do a console dot log my repeat and I get ha 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 so the repeat method will repeat whatever the string is the number of times you tell it to and then we save that off to do its own variable and I think the last one we're going to look at is a way to kind of clean up a string. So let my trim equals, and I'm going to put a bunch of spaces here, and then in between I'm going to say this is bloated, right? <laughs> and I want to uh, clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to go console.log, and uh, the first time through I'm just going to say trim.length. This will give me the total number of characters in that string, but then the second time, I'm going to do what's called chaining, method chaining. So my trim dot, I'm gonna use the trim method. That should clean off all the empty spaces at the very beginning and the very end of my string. And then I'm gonna grab the length property. So you can see dot trim dot length. I'm able to, since trim will return a string, then I can call the next method or property on the string because I'm working again with the string type. So I'm chaining those calls together to get the result, the, essentially the before and after. So before I call trim, we're looking at 16 total characters here. But when I call the trim and I get the length, there's only seven characters. That means the word bloated should only be seven characters long and it is, all right? So those are some helpful string methods on the built-in native string uh, function, constructor function. And uh, we'll do the same thing for uh, Array in the next video. We'll see you there. Thanks.